Hello people of the web and YouTube, DDBK here, and welcome back to Hack Time, woo! Alrighty guys, welcome back to another USB Rubber Ducky tutorial video. Today I'm actually going to be teaching you bros how to flash your little USB Rubber Ducky. Flash, flash, and no, not in the perverted way. I'm actually going to be teaching you bros how to flash the, the chip on the USB Rubber Ducky. Now what this will allow you to do is basically turn your Rubber Ducky either into mass storage and keyboard, or just mass storage and vice versa. There's actually many firmwares out there, but today I'm mainly going to be teaching you bros how to install the... The twin duck firmware, which is basically keyboard and mass storage. Now, I already have the firmware installed on this, so I'm quite interested on finding out if this is actually going to reinstall over top of that or what. But yeah, first of all, let's actually get our USB ducky all taken apart, and then I'll meet you back up on the computer, alright? Actually, for all you bros out there that are just getting a USB rubber ducky, my best advice here is to either get a bobby pin or break apart a paper clip and fold it into kind of an L shape. That way you can just peel the USB rubber ducky open instead of having to peel out with your fingers and scratch the poor little device all up. But yeah, with that said, I got my USB rubber ducky all apart, but to save my scripts just because I'm afraid I might wipe them somehow because I am an idiot after all, I'm going to take my SD card out and I highly recommend you guys do the same. Now, this is the fun stuff. You want to basically go down to the Wikipedia and I'm going to leave a link for this file because it's super, super hard to find because basically Wikipedia keeps the old links for the files up there even though the links have been removed it will give you an error it will say you cannot download but i found the new link and it took me forever so i'm gonna leave it in the description down below what you want to do is basically download the usb rubber ducky master zip folder and you want to extract that basically anywhere and for today's purposes we're only going to be focusing on the the, the firmware and flash not decode and encode Basically, I think these are Python encoders for Ducky scripts. I don't really know why you need them. Because, quite frankly, I like the Java version as well as the online version of the encoder and stuff. But yeah, for now, guys, what we want to do is we want to go into firmware. Actually, let me double check because I don't want to get you the wrong firmware. Yeah, you want to look for CDuckv21 under firmware, which should be under images. What you want to do is you want to copy this hex here and move it into the flash folder under duck programming but this folder won't normally be here you have to actually extract another zip called duck programming to get this folder and once you have that all extracted copy and paste that hex file in here and now you basically want to install all the drivers now i went went ahead and actually um uninstalled all the drivers I believe so I shouldn't get issues so I'm gonna actually install these now and uh, they shouldn't take too long to install with all honesty and nothing should really go wrong but you might get prompted for um add-ons or something you know like how some applications say download Yahoo browser today but you can usually skip them or cancel them and in this case I don't think actually any popped up for me but like I said, you may or may not get that considering this package constantly gets updated. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to install Flip, create a shortcut to the desktop, and then you want to um, install your Atoma drivers. Now what you do to do this, it's actually pretty complicated. What you have to do is you have to hold the, the DFU button or the reset button, I forget what it's called, on the USB Arbor Ducky. It's a little button, it's hard to see unless it's lit up. And I don't have a light around, but what you want to do is you want to hold that button down and then insert your USB rubber ducky into the computer. Now, you want to keep the button held in once you have it pushed in for about five seconds. And it should say driver install. Sometimes it won't come up with the prompt at all. But then your USB ducky should start flashing. And if you go under device manager, which is on Windows 10, just to right click at a start button device manager, it should be under... um human interfaces or something i forget what it actually goes under now i think it actually you might have to give me a minute here Alrighty, guys i'm back and sorry i'm just a blind idiot so basically it popped up here at the top but i already had the driver installed so it didn't re-pop up and i forgot but basically what you want to do is go under device manager and something called anima should pop up and it should be like highlighted with a triangle saying you need drivers for it now basically what you want to do from here is right click the Atoma driver, it should say Atoma 32 
C3B, I believe they're all named the same, I might be wrong there because there are different versions of the USB dock out there, so keep that in mind. But most of them should be called this, what you want to do is you want to right click it, update driver software, browse my computer, and then navigate to the Atoma Flip Signed Driver, which is a folder within the Duck Programming folder. And then once you select that, it will install the drivers, but since I have already did it, I don't have to do that step again. And plus, you might have to turn off driver reinforcement in the BIOS if you have it enabled, because that may block the installation of drivers, so keep that in mind. But yeah, hopefully you got this far and got the driver installed, so once you have the driver installed, you want to go and make sure that you have this batch file called program, make sure there's actually text in it, because the one time I did it, I didn't have text in there for some weird reason, it might have been my bad for canceling the download out or something, but yeah, if you have text in there, you're good to go, and you want to basically go and hold shift and control and right click in the folder, and actually, wait, is it just control? I don't remember, give me a second, it's been forever. Okay, you want to hold shift, right click, open command window here. Now I know there's another way to do it but that's the easiest and fastest way especially if you're newbie with um command prompt. Alrighty guys it took me a minute and I had to actually double check something but what you want to do is you actually want to type in program.bat then type in the firmware hex name which in my case is cduck under actually c underscore duck underscore v point 2.1 now i've done this already and i accidentally um typed the wrong name in at first so i had to go and fix some things so be sure to type in the right name at this step and then once you get here just hit enter and you know what you're done it should all compile right it should say pass 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 and it should erase all the old firmware on hopefully so be sure to um back up your duck before you do this and also this is really interesting considering i've ran this before and it it didn't stay up, it actually closed out when it was done, but since I guess I was rewriting the same firmware to it, it told me, hey, you rewrote the same firmware, it didn't need to be done. But yeah, for you guys, this should just pop up, say pass, 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 and then all that should just disappear, and that's when you know you're done. You can actually pull out your USB rubber ducky. Actually, if you take a look at your USB rubber ducky now after doing all this, you should notice it should light up green and red, meaning it's it has an it actually means there's an error if it lights up red, but that error is actually a good thing because you're tricking it to be both mass storage and or um, keyboard, you know, emulator. So basically you're done. I mean, there's other firmwares out there. Not all of them have the flashing red and green lights, so don't worry if you don't like it. Just try another firmware out, but from here on out, you should be good to go. Just pull out your duck. You can type in exit and command prompt or just hit the little X up there and you're done i mean that was super simple and easy quite honestly i overthought this in the past i thought i had to use some cali or something but no you can do it right on windows it just takes a lot of work and a lot of time and effort but you know what guys for now i hope this video was helpful for you and forgive me if i was a bit all over the place and some things went wrong during my setup like i said check your names out um make sure you type the right things in and you should be good to go but for now guys i'm gonna leave today's video here on the usb rubber ducky flashing tutorial anyway i hope you all enjoyed ttpk signing off peace well yeah to connect to the reverse shell you just um type in port 190 and just because my face looks hideous i'm the monster is that what they're saying <laughs>